global positioning system was designed and built by the United States Air Force to provide global, all-weather, navigation, and timing information to United States and allied military users. GPS has revolutionized military operations. The accuracy, security, and reliability of military GPS gives U.S. and allied forces an asymmetric advantage over the enemy. This advantage allows our soldiers, sailors, marines, and airmen to accomplish more with smaller forces than was ever possible before. But our warfighters can only take full advantage of military GPS when they use the right equipment, a military GPS receiver with a current crypto key. GPS satellites orbit 12,000 miles above the Earth and transmit a very weak radio signal, roughly equivalent to a 40-watt light bulb. Each GPS satellite transmits two signals, a secure, encrypted signal exclusively for military users and a non-secure civilian signal. Military GPS signals are encrypted for security. They are broadcast on two separate frequencies and provide better accuracy than civilian signals. They are also designed to resist electronic attacks. Let's examine GPS jamming first. To demonstrate the vulnerability of commercial GPS receivers to jamming, we jammed a number of civilian GPS receivers and videotaped the results. This is the first civilian GPS receiver before jamming. It is tracking 11 GPS satellites and has an accurate solution. The jammer is applied when the counter reaches zero. This receiver is off the air, completely disabled by jamming in just a few seconds. This is another civilian GPS receiver from a different manufacturer subjected to the same jamming. Different receiver, different manufacturer, same result. The truth is, any civilian receiver is vulnerable to jamming. All of them. These receivers will not track GPS satellites again until the jammer is eliminated or you move away from it. Not all GPS receivers die at the first sign of jamming. Military GPS receivers, such as the Dagger, track the secure military GPS signals and are designed to operate through jamming. Take a look at how the Dagger performs in the same jamming that took the civilian GPS receiver off the air. The Dagger detects the jamming and provides a pop-up warning to the user. It then continues to navigate in the jamming environment. A civilian GPS receiver can't do either of these things. To prove this is a fair test, let's see the dagger and a commercial receiver again, side by side, getting hit with the same jamming. The dagger keeps on working after the civilian receiver dies. The dagger gives the jammer warning and continues to navigate. The Dagger, like all military GPS receivers, has a clear advantage over commercial GPS receivers in a jamming environment. To illustrate this, take a look at a keyed Dagger on the right and an unkeyed Dagger on the left in the same jamming scenario we showed earlier. The keyed Dagger continues to operate as before, but like the commercial receivers, the unkeyed Dagger can no longer be used for navigation because it is forced into a search mode by the jammer and stops updating its position. Under certain conditions, commercial GPS receivers can provide false and potentially misleading position information to the user. Some warfighters are using commercial GPS receivers to compute target location coordinates based upon their position and the range and azimuth to the target. If the user's GPS position is accurate, the target coordinates will be accurate. But if the commercial GPS receiver gives the user a false reading for his location, the target location coordinates based on this false position will also be wrong by the same amount. This could result in collateral damage, or worse. False position readings can be caused by enemy electronic attack or a GPS satellite signal anomaly. GPS receivers are now electronic warfare targets. The threats to GPS are increasing. Civilian GPS receivers put warfighters at risk. A military GPS receiver with the current crypto key is your best defense.